Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the TCP slow start. So in TCP slow start, it is an algorithm which balance the speed of the network connection. Means it is helpful to avoid congestion. So TCP slow start is one of the first step in congestion controlling process. In that, it balance the amount of the data a sender can transmit. It is known as a congestion window with the amount of the data which receiver can received or accept. It known as a receiving window. In this figure, the host A can send data to host B. So, initial level, the host A can send one segment and host B received it correctly. Means, the host A sender having one packet size window and host B received one packet size window. After acknowledged at sending side, the host A means sender knows that means host B having enough capacity to receive a segment. Then it increase the size of the packet. So sender can send two segment and host B receiver received that segment and acknowledge correctly. So after that, the sender knows still enough capacity to receive at receiving side, then they can send more number of the packet. It increase the segment. So the four segment will send and receiver can receive that segment and acknowledge properly till the enough capacity of the receiving side. Here, we discuss same thing, the slow start gradually increase the amount of the data transmitted until it find the network maximum carrying capacity, means receiving maximum carrying capacity. The sender communicate to receiver, initial packet contained a small congestion window, we can say one segment, which is determined based on the sender maximum window. In receiving side, a receiving acknowledge that package and responds with its own window size. So, if the receiver fails to respond, the sender knows not to continue sending the data. And after receiving the acknowledgement, the sender increase the next packet window size means the two segment the window size is gradually increase until the receiver can no longer acknowledge the each packet or until either the sender or receiver windows limit is reached so the tcp slow start means it gradually increase to transmit a data from sender to receiver based on their window size and network maximum carrying capacity for controlling congestion. Thank you. We will summarize. So first, we have understand introduction about the transport layer services and protocol. In that, we have learned about the transport layer services, TCP services, UDP services and its protocol functionality. Second, we have understand the multiplexing and demultiplexing at both sides connection less and connection oriented. Next, we have understand the connection less transport means UDP segment and understand the UDP header as well as we have understand the checksum method for the error detecting in segment. Then forwards, the principle of reliable data transfer in that we have understand about the protocol versions in that we have understand about the reliable data transfer in reliable channel with certain problem like packet loss, packet duplication, acknowledgement loss and etc. Next we have understand about the pipeline protocol which is extended version of those protocol the go back and and selective repeat protocol then after we have understand the connection oriented transport means 
TCP segment. Similar UDP segment. In that we have understand the header segment. Then forward we have understand about the flow control and congestion control. In a network channel we need to care about the flow of data from sender to receiver. So which concept we have understand in this flow control concepts. Congestion control in that we have avoid congestion. We have discussed about how congestion occurred and to solve that. Then after we have understand the TCP slow start approach which is to solution of congestion control. So in this unit the transport layer protocol we have un majorly we have understand the transport layer services and its protocol and different reliable data transfer protocols as well as congestion control and its solutions. So in GTU exams the important topic are checksum method, reliable data transfer protocol, go back end protocol, selective repeat protocol and TCP segment header. Thank you.